Right, hello. Um, outreach time. Didn't get out last week with them. Uh, just been busy. Lots happened. So the last time I was out, Joan took a tumble. Um, Joan's still in hospital. She broke a kneecap. Um, she, she. So me and Robin went to see her. Took her flowers and that. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen now. I'll, I'll also put a picture on of a knee. It's really bad the knee, but um, it's gone down a lot since then. So that that was the day after. Um, we didn't know she was still in the Royal Liverpool Hospital. Because when I last spoke to Joan, she said she was getting transferred to Manchester, so I thought she was getting man transferred there and then. Joan only got transferred today, Thursday. She's been in hospital since last Tuesday. So over a week she was in Liverpool and we've only been seeing her once. We didn't know. Um, but I've been on the phone, so I've been messaging her, so I, I have been in contact with her. Also, Brian's taken ill. Um, Brian took ill at the weekend. Burst appendix, so Brian's in hospital. He's, he's had an operation. And he's doing alright. Um, there's, there's, he's, put, he's put pictures on Facebook, so I'll share a picture. If he's put it on social media, it, was, it's, you know, it means I'm allowed to share it. So I'll put a picture on of Brian. He's, he's, he's in good spirits, as, as always. So they're the, the downers at the moment, you know. Joan is part of the team now, even though she's from Manchester. But Joan, you've got to take it easy. We told you this, you've got to take it easy. You know, you, you do more than enough to help us, so take it easy. Uh, Brian, I know, I know you're ready to get back as well, but get yourself fit and well first, okay? Every, everything's looked after here. I see the team behind me, there's, there's, a, there's a fair few, all right? So that's that covered now. So go back over. Um, I think the first part of the call is to stay in here bit, but me and Robin are going to go through American Pizza Slice because Hayley um, from Hopeful Haven has ordered, has ordered, has ordered um, 100 pounds worth of pizzas from American Pizza Slice. So we're going to go and get them in a minute. We don't want to leave it. We don't want to get them too early in case it goes cold on the route round. So yeah, we want them to be as warm as possible. So me and Robin are going to do that, and I'll be on camera. See you in a minute. So we've got Robin and Demi. Say hello. Hello. And um, we've got Robbie. Hello. There's Robbie. Right, we're off to American Pizza Slice to grab these pizzas that I was telling you about. So yeah, see you in a minute. So there we are, American Pizza Slice. So under pounds worth of pizzas, that means um, five big pizzas, I think. I know a lot of people rave about this place, so yeah, I have had pizza out here, it's nice. There we go. Robbie's got three of them. Nice. Demi's got the other two. Should we uh, just do a little uh, but, little reveal. Nice, look at that. <laughs> I don't want one myself now. <laughs> well, there, there might be quality control happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. T tested the hot enough. Yeah. I have to make sure that what we're providing is of a suitable standard. <laughs> yeah. But there we are now. We're just breaking up. The, the decent slices, like the, it's not going to go far. This, this will be gone before we even leave here. I reckon. So I'm just standing out the way while people tuck into the pizza. There, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can. But it's just important to, to see what you know, what people do to help. You know, Haley couldn't be, get it. Beer, so she ordered, she phoned through and ordered uh, 100 pounds worth of pizzas. <laughs> how, how, how tall are you without the heels on? I was going to say, you're massive anyway, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice. Exhibition, where is it? Oh, yeah. Wow. 
Oh, have you got a walk on the way there, isn't that? <laughs> the, the walk at our gallery, is it? The walk at our gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, fabulous. So, six foot six without heels on, so you're talking what, seven foot? <laughs> Talk about seven foot there with the heels on and, and hair. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a drag queen convention going on at the Walker Art Gallery tonight, Friday, Thursday even. Yeah? You learn something new every day. So one of these two ladies called Maria and just dropped off that big box there with a load of curry in it. So thank you. Oh, and loads of clothes getting thrown out the back as well. Brilliant. So we've got Rob. Rob <laughs> trying to keep a safe face. Got Robin sign on one of the shirts. Robin turn rounds. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> that a blinded glass either. <laughs> so we've got a fairly big team saying nothing now. Robin took it. Robin took his shirt off. But uh, everyone's in good spirits tonight. So yeah, it should be a fun night. Um, if these are having fun, it rubs off on those that are getting helped. Just brings that little bit of joy into the life for uh, the, the couple of minutes that they're going to be spending with them. So this Asian guy there sitting down, me and John remember him. We remember him, don't we, John? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he was, if people watch all the videos, they'll remember him because he was buckling under the weight of what he was carrying. He, he, he had a rucksack on his back, a rucksack on his front. He had bags in his hands, stuff under his arms. He had jeans on, he had a coat on. And... It was probably the hottest day of the year as well. And he, would, every time he started walking, he was buckling and, and stumbling. So it's it's good to see him travelling a bit lighter now when he's sitting down, getting some sweets. So we haven't got the sergeant major today. Brian, as I said, Brian's in hospital, so we've got no one here barking the orders. But Robin's just give a shout, and it looks like we're off in a minute. So they're setting off in a minute, and you know the thing is, people say why you know about helping smackheads and all that. There's one, two, three, four. You know what? I can't see. I can't see one there getting help. That's got addiction. They're just on hard times. So, but they're the ones that will probably get the least help when it comes to going to the council and stuff like that. Because they, they deal with the ones that, that, that are addicts first. And these just get left by the wayside. It's the way we are at the moment. Oh, um, we're off up Sir Thomas Street. Robin in the front, Demi. So we've got a trolley full of clothes there. Got the curries in this one. And the rest of the team following up. Ignore me. <laughs> we've got shoes in that in here. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a fairly small team tonight. Get that on target. There we go. It's a fairly small team tonight. I missed that one. Someone's been getting helped. I'm just walking off. Yeah, he's getting sorted out. So we're in exchange flags at the moment and this place is a jewel in Liverpool's crown, honest. The pictures don't do any justice. So everyone's going to get a photograph in front of this monument here. The slavery mon monument. Big smiles everyone. <laughs> First time I've ever seen this. This memorial was unveiled at the Cotton Exchange by Field Marshal Earl Haig of Bemis. Bemzied? On the 5th of April 1922, 
is dedicated to those men from the Liverpool Cotton Association who died for their country in defence of liberty and justice in the Great War, 1914 to 1918, and the World War, 1939 to 1945. Their name liveth forever. Lest we forget, eh? Some more getting up to you. That pizza's going a long way, by the way. It's, we still got it, we're on Castle Street. Um, it's a quiet night, I'm being honest. But I've said that before, and then it's got, it's got chock a block, so we'll just see. Well, there's a girl getting up out here. Now. I think that's one thing we might be short for, you know, women's clothes. She's saying she got no clothes, which is a shame. Back a second here, the, the, the lad's seven seas being left behind, getting with Mike, but... So, there's a few people there that got up, not three or four, outside Tesco's there. Um, the girl doesn't have any clothes, you know. Should be the easiest things to get your hands on clothes, you know what I mean? As I don't think they have a lot of women's clothes anyway. It's mainly men's clothes that they have, you know, shoes are always like nines, tens, elevens, twelves, you know what I mean? It's just one of them. Well they've been out of it as best as best they can. So we're approaching Matthew Street now. Uh, I expect it'll be busy down here. You know what, you got a dog. Clean your shit up. Disgusting. City sentence like that. As soon as we turn the corner, fella wanting help. Definitely be busy down here, it's tasty nice. I'll just stand back, let him get us some help. I think that helmet there with the shit shirt almost gave me shit about filming. I can come back and say something he wants. I can't do much filming here because there's a singer behind me and I'm going to get copyrighted for the, the back of music. Um, yeah. So, I'll film what I can. If there's any singing, it'll be blocked out. So, it might be quiet, so there might be a bit of, bit of a funky tune over it. Singer's finished. Um, Really good, but I, but I can't show it, which is unfortunate. I'll tell you what, that pizza lasted all the way round. I wasn't that busy. Um, but the Greg's have got to turn up yet, so we'll just see what's what. But well, people are getting a fill, which is good. Even the singers had to be. So it's getting a little bit busy around here now. People going through the clothes, people just gathering, coming around and wondering what's going on. And uh, the Greg's are still to turn up, yeah. People trying their shoes on and that. <laughs> We're doing the Greg's run now with uh, Robbie, Paula and Marie. Robin's going to get the other one so they'll be out of the cart. <laughs> she's, got, she's getting in, she needs a lift. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, go and get the good eggs now. 
So there's the uh, staff member there filling the bag up. It's looking a bit bare in there though, so we'll just we'll just see what we get. Something's better than nothing. At least they're still doing a bit. So that's a bag with all the, uh, the stuff out the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's, there's a fair bit in there. Plus they're, they're taking all the stuff, the, the hot stuff now out in there. Plus Robin and Demi have gone to the other one, haven't they? Gone to the other one, yeah. Two more Gregs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's, there's, there's still a bit to, uh, to come. Nice one, mate. Cheers, see you later. Staff are great in there, they really are. There we go. The Gregs collected. It's not that full, but um, Robin's gone to two more shops. Plus, Auntie Anne's. I don't think it's this Auntie Anne's, but it's another Auntie Anne's where they get the stuff from. So, just see where he comes back with. As we get back, Robin and Demi are already back with their stuff. So, yeah, full compliment now. Everyone helping themselves to the Greggs and stuff. Yeah, it's all good. So I've just been talking to Robin there. Robin's coming close to the microphone a sec. So just saying the Greggs is Central Station. Uh, yeah, no, um, they had to close early tonight, which I believe was a, a fire evacuation or something, which is, um, I was saying to, to young Demi, it's only probably the second time in five years that that's happened where we've, we've gone there and we've not really been able to collect much because they, they're such massive supporters of ours and over the years they've given us yeah. like a mountain of food. Um, yeah. You know, so... Uh, so so it's, it's a bit light on Greg's tonight then, isn't it? Very much so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. literally oh, well. half a trolley and it's gone already. But, yeah. But, but they do help a lot, so... Greg's you know, do. Greg, Greg's are amazing. You can't fault them. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely no. amazing. Thanks, so Thanks for the info. You're welcome. Cheers. So that's me finished with the team for tonight. They're all packing up. Everything's gone again. Um, what I do want to mention is... Got a phone call. I think that'd be me, lads. Yeah, I'll bring them back in a minute. Yeah, that was me, lads. Um, he just got off the train to come and see me in town, but we're finishing up now, so I don't know if I'll see him or not. Yeah, so what I do want to mention is, I know it's important what everyone does here and donations we get, but what I don't give enough credit to is the people that donate to YouTube, to the, uh, the super tanks. So I'll put the two people on now that I've donated recently. And I, and I should do this more often, because, you know, that's just as important as, as what's going on here. And I never give that any credit, so thank you to you two who don donated recently. Um, I'll put that towards Greg's cards. There was a um, 100 Danish krona, which that's around seven or eight pounds, so that'll go... Sorry. That'll go towards two Greg's cards. And um, so I'm donating five pounds, and that, that'll get a Greg's, Greg's card as well. So the Super Thanks is going to feed three people. So thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there now, guys. If you like the channel, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. As I always say, um, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and a thumbs up is always appreciated. Look after yourselves and see you all soon. Bye now.